What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most sought after talked about things in fitness. I want them, you want them, my camera guy wants them, even your grandma wants them. I'm going to talk to you, show you exercises that I did when I first started calisthenics, then educate you on abs, or as it should be called, core training. So like I said earlier, abs, or for some females just a flat stomach, is one of the most talked about side after things of fitness, but when it comes down to finding information on it or how to train correctly, it's one of the most misconstrued topics hands down. But we've all seen that guy at the gym that does something similar to this. Or he'll get on the ab machine and continue to bring out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reps. Or maybe even personally we try something like 100 sit-ups a day to get abs, 50 crunches every commercial break, because we were just told that's what I did as a kid. It's just been ingrained in us that if you want abs, do sit-ups and do crunches. And while you are getting some benefit from doing all the abs and doing the crunches, you are strengthening your rectus abdominis for the purpose of having a strong all-around core and actually seeing visible abs, it's just not effective for any exercise program. So if you are that guy that's doing the thousand crunches, I'm here to educate you, so listen up. When we hear the words core training, most people assume it's just the front of your abdomen. This is your rectus abdominis and it is a part of the core, but it only makes up one section of many. When you really get down to it, your core is actually a group of muscles that includes your lower back and your obliques. So your core actually wraps around your entire midsection and even includes muscles located by the hip flexors and the spine. So I want you to think about a house. A house is built upon a foundation. So our body is the same way with our core being the foundation. If one of the walls is strong and the rest are structurally weak, the whole house is going to crumble. So same thing with our body. If our rectus abdominis is strong, but our lower back, obliques, hip flexors are weak, then we're gonna crumble and have muscle imbalances. So just like you wouldn't want your house to be weak and crumble, same thing for your body. You wanna be structurally sound. In my earlier days of working out and playing sports when I was in high school, before I even knew about core training, I used to hate squatting and deadlifting. Now squatting and deadlifting is some of my favorite things to do, but back then I would hate it just because my lower back would give me so much pain. Back when I was wrestling, even the act of me just getting down in my stance for an extended period of time would cause me pain in my lower back. So during wrestling, I pushed through the pain in my lower back, but it most definitely affected my performance. And when it came to squatting and deadlifting, after every single set, I would have to sit down and give my lower back a rest just because it was so chronically weak. So this is why I'm telling you right now, it's so important that you train your core effectively and smart. So so now knowing that our core is actually a group of muscles that rest around the entire midsection, I'll show you some exercises that I did when I first started calisthenics and exercises you can do to build a strong, solid foundation. Planks are one of the best static exercises you can do for your core. Static meaning you're not moving. When done correctly, glutes should be flexed, toes should be pointed, and full body tension and intra-abdominal pressure is created. No banana backing or arching. Your lower back is also activating and stabilizing. When you're advanced, you can start adding weight to the exercise and build really good strength. When you have a good solid foundation with the basic plank, you can start to add movement. Our basic plank was static and now this one is dynamic. Dynamic meaning there's movement throughout the exercise. When you add movement, your core is having to work double time and stabilize through every plane of motion which ups the intensity and builds good strength. For this exercise, we need to focus on minimal hip swing. Doing the exercise for the first time, you will have a slight hip swing, but as you get stronger, you should work to minimize that. Side planks are fantastic for targeting those obliques. The internal and external oblique muscles are the muscles that work to rotate and stabilize your torso. Lift your hips off the floor and make sure you've created a straight line with your body. Emphasis on the straight line or you're not targeting the oblique optimally. Hollow body is the number one drill for teaching core engagement and the one I always have my clients do first. You create full body tension and every muscle from your head to toe is engaged. Hollow body position is home. During a pull up, handstand, push up, muscle up, or whatever the exercise is, you should always have a hollow body. Glutes flex, toes pointed, core engaged. Your lower back stays in contact with the ground the whole movement. If your lower back is not on the ground, the movement just becomes a leg raise. Full hollow body will be extremely hard to get on your first time. The way we can progress to a full hollow body is by starting with our legs in the air and slowly lowering, emphasizing our lower back sink in contact with the ground. As soon as our lower back starts to rise, stop at that point and hold. Supermans are a reverse hollow body. They're fantastic for teaching us to engage the core and link and sink the entire body. They're also great for starting to build good lower back strength. When first starting the exercise, you can perform a straddled, and as you get stronger, progress to full Superman. All right, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned something. Now it's just all about going out and applying it. It's so important to have that strong core, to have that strong foundation to progress upon, and also to make sure that you don't have problems down the road like I did. 
All right, so let me know what videos you guys want to see next in the comments. For my subscribers, we have a video going up next week. I'll see you guys then.